IBM is building blockchain solutions for healthcare data. 15 people have been arrested in Taiwan for a crypto scam. And Iran is bringing out a stable coin. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you hit the subscribe and also notifications button so you don't miss an episode. I'm Edward and we're going to be bringing you the news from the world of crypto now three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you're in Los Angeles, each episode will be live at 2 p.m. your time. If you're in New York, it's a 5 p.m. start time for you. And if you're across the Atlantic over in London, the show will launch at 10 p.m. for you. Enjoy today's episode. suspects have been arrested in Taipei for their part in an alleged Taiwan cryptocurrency scam. It's worth about $8 million. Now, the scam surrounds a cryptocurrency called iBcoin, which was supposedly used to part investors from their cash in Taiwan. This alleged crypto fraud case is one of the largest so far this year in Asia, and it's currently quite big news in Taiwan. Now, Taiwan's Criminal Investigation Bureau made the announcement in recent days that they had apprehended 15 suspects that are believed to be part of the scam that is defrauded investors. It'll be interesting to see moving forward how individual countries prosecute crimes in the crypto space. Two new U.S. states are on their way to accept taxes in the form of crypto coins, as both Indiana and New Hampshire have taken legislative steps to make this a policy. Now, in Indiana, an amendment house bill to alter the existing taxation laws of the state has been filed on the 24th of January this year. The goal is to allow common people to use cryptocurrencies to fulfill their tax obligations. New Hampshire has also seen a bill that requires the treasurer of the state to come up with a concrete plan to start accepting crypto coins for tax payments from its citizens. Undoubtedly, these are exciting moves. So what are all the details? Well, in Indiana, the House Bill number 1683 was filed on the 24th of January, requesting the General Assembly of the state of Indiana to make amendments to the taxation code. If this particular bill becomes law, it could potentially allow citizens to use certain cryptocurrencies in meeting all dues and more. One by one, we may see more American states becoming friendlier to cryptocurrency. Let's see if the state governments lead to mass adoption. Cryptocurrency wallet provider BRD has managed to raise $15 million during its second funding round. The large investment comes from SBI Crypto Investment, a subsidiary of Japan's premier banking services SBI Group. A springboard for Asian expansion, BRD currently operates in 170 countries with more than 1.8 million downloads on the most popular mobile platforms. With the help of the recently raised funds, the startup wants to continue its expansion into the Asian market. Now, BRD CEO Adam Trademan claims that he's overly excited about the partnership, which will help to propel their international expansion. Earlier this week, SBI Group also invested in another Switzerland-based cryptocurrency startup called Changem, which creates smart card crypto wallets. Let's see how successful BRD can be with this new influx of capital. New York-based tech giant IBM is reportedly working with major American healthcare providers to improve how sensitive patient information is managed. The patient data will be kept on a blockchain-based database management system, participating in the initiative to better manage medical claims processes while also making transactions more efficient. Our Big Blue, which is CVS Health and its subsidiary, Atena, are planning to transform the existing healthcare industry. If projects like this work, will we see a world in the future where using blockchain becomes the industry standard. Iran plans to launch a rail-backed crypto. Iran's cryptocurrency is expected to be rolled out in phases. First, a rail-backed digital token to facilitate payments made between Iranian banks and other Iranian institutions active in the crypto space, and later, possibly, as an instrument for the Iranian public to pay for local goods and services. The token is to run on a private blockchain with little detail available on what technology it's actually based on, whether Ethereum, Hyperledger, or something else. It is somewhat interesting Interesting, however, that they plan to allow crypto institutions, like presumably exchanges, to access crypto real. More and more countries are now looking for crypto solutions for different facets of their economy. Let's see how this plays out for Iran and if it encourages other countries to follow suit. 
Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. Please make sure you're hitting that subscribe and also notifications button. And if you have any thoughts on this video or crypto more generally, please drop us a line in the comments below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy.